Hello everyone, today I want to talk to you about two wonderful preschool resources that you can use with children to get them ready for kindergarten and first grade. So a lot of you guys who have my toddler learning folder um, have asked me, once my child has mastered the toddler learning folder, what can I do to go on to master other skills? Um, and so today I want to share with you the um, literacy, the literacy pre-K folder and the math pre-K uh, learning folder. And so let's start off with the math preschool folder here. And so it's really easy to make. You get a binder um, and you get laminate sheet protectors. Um, and I'll post a link on the description box where I get my laminate sheet protectors. Um, so here is the preschool learning folder. So it has a number chart one through 50. And so that you can practice numbers one through 50 with your preschoolers or kindergarten students. And the whole purpose of the preschool learning folder is to teach children number recognition um, one through 20, also number quantity up to 10, shape recognition, number order, patterns and visual discrimination. So let's show you what we have here. So you, once you have them in laminate sheet protectors, um, the child can use a dry erase marker to uh, circle their answers. The wonderful thing about these folders is that you don't need any writing required. So children from a really young age can do it. So here is uh, circle one. So they would find one. This is number recognition. Two. Where's the two here? Three. Where's the three here? And so on. They would circle it. Here is another one. This is draw a line to, to match the shape. So they would draw a line to match the shapes. It's really easy um, because, again, you don't need any writing required. So children are able to do it. Here's another one. And this is mastering number quantity. How many animals are here? How many cows? One. How many caps? Two. How many balls? Two. So they would just draw a little circle. Trees. One. It also teaches children about sizing. So here the child would circle the smallest object. Circle the smallest object. Circle the smallest object. Moving on to visual discrimination. So it does have a little bit of visual discrimination in the pack as well. Here is circle all the people. So the child would look through all of these images and find where are the people. Here's a person. Here's a person. Here's a person, here's a person, here's a person, and so on. Over here is number order. So the child would, the pack brings these little cards that you can laminate and then you can use for the activities. Um, so the child would have to put the number that goes next. One, two, what goes next? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 and 10. So it's good because it's hands-on. It brings these um, cutouts that you can cut out and laminate. So it makes it hands-on for children and it makes it fun for them. It also um, has a lot of uh, images that the child can do activities with hands-on. So here I have some recycled milk uh, caps, milk bottle caps, and I have written numbers on them and the child would match. Four eight, three, seven, and it's a fun way. Um, you can use different things um, instead of bottle caps. The pack also brings little circle cutouts that you can laminate and use as well. But I like using the bottle caps because children um, love using things that are uh, physical and it's good for their little hands to be able to grab actual objects and it makes it more fun for them. It also teaches patterns and it brings against the cards that you would need and you would just need to laminate them. So you would just uh, teach patterns. Mittens, hat, mittens, hat. What comes next? Mittens. Pen, scissors, pen, scissors. What comes next? Pen. And you go on and on. Um, learning the patterns. 
here is circle the amount in each box. One, can you circle one ice pop? One. Two, can you circle two grapes? Two. So as you go on in the pack, you're going to find a lot more difficulty. There are 41 activities, so as you go on, you're going to see larger number quantities. You're going to see, um, it's going to cover numbers one through 20, so it's going to go to the higher numbers. And um, yes, guys, the pack is wonderful, and I highly recommend it for those preparing children for kindergarten and first grade. Okay. Um, it brings everything you need to create your little binder, even the the uh, title page here. You can write the child's name, or if you are working in a school setting, um, a lot of teachers have used this in their uh, math and literacy centers, so that you can just place it in the literacy center and um, put it there with a dry erase marker, and kids just love it. Okay, let's move on to the literacy preschool learning folder. And this folder has 50 activities that cover letter recognition, beginning letter sounds, alphabet order, and it has um, also for those kids that are advanced, that are in kindergarten or advanced, and they can already read, it has reading challenge activities that focus on matching pictures to words and also it helps them practice their Dolch words, their Dolch sight words. So let's open it up. Here it has um, a little chart that it brings so that you can review letter sounds with children right from the start or you can practice their alphabet with them. Okay, so you can use a dry erase marker to do these activities and this is a beginning letter sound practice activity. Ah, ah, apple and they would just draw a line. B, b, ba, k, k, cat, d, d, dog. Let's go on to the next activity here. Here is letter recognition. So the child will need to find the letter. Um, a, here's an A, here's an A. B or B, here's a B and here's a B. As you can see, I have these and Bs. These are letters that children confuse all of the time. So then um, I have letters that look similar so that the children really have to look closely um, to find the letters. It's great for letter recognition. Okay. Here's another one. They would just circle uh, the beginning letter sound. K, k, corn. S, s, spider. B, b, bus. H, h, heart. And so on. And here is letter recognition practice. And this is similar to the math learning folder. Um, you can use the bottle caps, um, you can use the cutouts that the pack brings, or you can use poker chips, whichever you have available. I, I really recommend either bottle caps or poker chips because the children really like to feel um, the physical objects and it makes it more fun for them. So then we just find the letters on the cake or the different pictures that it brings. It gives them practice from letters A through Z. So each of the pictures that it brings, um, practices letters A through Z. Um, here's, I think, A through I in this in this one here. And so on. Or you can use the poker chips. Or you can use the what the pack brings. The pack brings the, these little cutouts and all you have to do is laminate them. Okay, let's move on to the next one here. This is alphabet order, and it brings the cutouts. So all you would have to do is place the cutouts where it goes. A, B, what's next? C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. And again, it practices letters A through Z, so this is going from only letters A through I. The whole entire pack is designed this way, and um, it continues going on to different letters. It gets harder and harder. It's level of difficulty as well as the other one. Um, it also has reading challenge activities for those kids that are already reading and need to practice um, sight words and other things. So here is 
uh, the Dolce sight words. So the child would um, match jump, jump, yellow. Can you find yellow here? And you see it says fellow, yellow. So they would really have to look closely to match the yellow and the yellow. Four, they would match it to here, to four. It, it, and so on. So this is for children that are already in kindergarten or getting ready for first grade. I wanted to provide these reading challenge activities in the pack for those kids that are already reading. Here's another reading challenge activity. Um, and the child would match the word to the picture. Web, web, fan, fan, bed, bed, hen, hen. And I wanted to provide these for... Um, again, for children that are already reading, so if your child is not reading, if your children are not reading, just keep these out of the pack, and when they're ready for it, they can um, they can go ahead and put these in the pack. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, these literacy and math learning folders um, help children learn concepts that are foundations needed for kindergarten and first grade. I love these two resources and I have used it with my children because there is no writing required. And so children from really young ages can start doing these folders. And it's also great for students with disabilities, um, especially young children who cannot write. Um, so they are wonderful. They grow with your child and they even target those children that are more advanced. I have these up on my Teachers Pay Teachers site. I will post a link on the description box if you're interested in getting them. Simply, you would need to just get a folder and some laminate sheet protectors to create these two wonderful binders. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, my child trying out some of these activities so that you can see them in action. Thank you so much for watching. Hi, bye bye. Iris. Hi. Okay, let's start over here. What letter is this? Ga, yes. Now I want you to circle ga here, okay? Where do you find this? Wherever you see ga, you circle it, okay? Where do you see ga here? Yeah, there's a ga. Can you give it a circle? Good. Where else do you see ga right here? Anywhere around here? Good. Let's move on to the next letter. What letter is this? Ha. Ha. Let's look over here. Where can you find ha? Circle all the ha's. Where's ha? Go ahead. There you go. Where else do you see her? Mm. Yes, go ahead. Good. Now let's move on to the this letter. What letter is this? What letter is this? A. a. Where do you see the is? There's an A. And as you can see, the J, the J just looks just looks just like the I, but she's able to circle the eyes. Okay, Iris, now let's see if we can find some of these letters. What letter is this? A. Uh. Okay, can you find A? Uh? Mm. Yes. What letter is this? Ba. Where's B? B is hiding. Oh, that's duh. That's not B. Can you find B? Very good. What's this one? Can you find F? Yes. Okay, Iris. So let's circle all the people that you see here. Only the people, okay? Go ahead. Can you circle them for us? There's a little girl. Yes. Draw a circle around her. There you go. And as you can see, circles don't have to be perfect. Good job, Iris. Keep circling all the people that you see. Yes, babies are also people. Good job. There's another little boy, yes. Who else do you see? That's a person. Who else? Yes, that little boy's a person too. Who else do you see? That's a person. Good job. Okay, Iris, so here we're gonna circle the biggest person. So let's go look at here over here. Which one's bigger, her or her? Her. Okay, let's circle her. Which one's bigger? Him or him? Him. Okay. Which one's bigger? Him or him? Him. Okay, circle him. Good. Which one's bigger? Him or him? Him. Okay. Which little boy is bigger? Him or him? Him. Okay, circle him. And which little girl is bigger? Her or her? Her. Okay, good job.
Okay, ready, Iris? We're gonna circle one ice pop. Just one. Good. Over here is the number two. We're gonna circle two bunches of grapes. Let's circle two. So we're over here with one. One and two. Okay, there's two. Now we're gonna go to number three. Can we circle three peaches? Start here with one. One. Two and three, very good. Okay, Iris, let's find some numbers on this butterfly. Let's find number eight. Okay, let's find number five. Where's five? There it is. Let's find two. Yes. Where's number two? You gotta turn it over like this so you can see it. There you go. Two. There it is. How about one? One is hiding somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. Okay, Iris. Let's see if we can find some of these shapes. What shape is this, Iris? Can you find the star on this side? Can you draw a line? Connect them? Yes, and what shape is this one right here, Iris? Mm -hmm. What is it? Other. Can you find the other oval on this side over here and match them? Yes, can you match them? Oh, you're going all the way around, huh? What's this? What shape? What shape is that? Heart. Heart, can you find the heart on this side? Can you match them? Can you draw a line to connect them? Okay, and what shape is this? Rectangle. Rectangle. Can you find the other rectangle? Good. Okay, Iris, and how many squares are here? These are not squares. No, these are circles. But what, what, how many squares are here? One. One square. Can you find the number one over here? Okay, let's put the number one right here in this little box. It's a box. Okay, right in the box. How many stars are here, Iris? Four stars. How many stars? Can I make a wall on them? Can you count them? One. Two. Three. Three. Very good. Can you find three? Can you put the three in the little box? Mm -mm. Right over here. You got it.